Alright, this is a tutorial on how to install Wine, that's a uh, Windows emulator, on Ubuntu 9.10. Um, this tutorial might be a little bit laggy because I'm on VMware, but um, this still meets its purpose. Go to Ubuntu Software Center, uh, or any other kind of uh, install of software for your system. You're going to want to go to uh, the search and enter in wine and you can see that I've already installed it. Um, in order to get the newest update, like if, the, if you're not sure that this is going to be the newest, then just go to Firefox Go to wine hq dot org forward slash download forward slash d e b. Okay, and then you're gonna want to scroll down a little bit until you find. Oh, this will probably this will probably help. Um, uh, go system administrator and administration uh, software sources then select the third party software tab which is other and click add which is right here um, these are the different versions of Ubuntu and different versions of wine that would go with those versions of Ubuntu um, anyway the the version that we want is 9.10 because I'm on 9.10. Copy, minus that out, and go to Edit, Software Sources, type in your password, other software, and I already have it here, but you would go to Add, and then control V to add the line we copied before you click so, uh, add source but I already did that and this will be added this should be check marked if it's not just check mark it and then close it this page will refresh and um, update it'll come up and probably say the same thing as it did before but it might have a newer version, it might not. Click install and you'll be on your way. It'll take a little while. Be patient. Um, exit that. Go to um, applications and you'll have wine. Um, programs. This will be the program, like if you were to click start in Windows and then you'd go to all programs or programs or whatever and accessories and notepad notepads just like I guess whatever I guess they just wanted to have only notepad anyway um, then there's uh, browse C drive it's not really the C drive but it's um, the hard drive uh, it's a folder inside of that Um, configuring wine you'll have the you'll have Windows XP as a default it can go from Windows 2.0 all the way up to Windows 7 which is the newest um, but we're just gonna leave it at Windows XP because you do not want to do any more emulating than you have to um, more emulating just makes it so that you have to do more coding, more it makes your game slower or application that you want to emulate slower. Um, check mark this if you want a virtual desktop and set the screen size. Um, I prefer 
not to do this because then you just can't move your mouse wherever you want to if you have the the application is not taking up your whole screen. Um, then go to desktop integration window. Uh, the folders if you have a different like if you have an extra drive or something like that where you keep all your um, files and folders and you want to like link a different file and folder to different um, things then you can. It's just where my the dust the my documents would be and just all that different jazz stuff. Um, your drives and audio and this is where you would set up uh, your audio things whatnot. And we're just going to hit cancel because I didn't change anything. And then wine. Is there anything else? You can also uninstall it, but we're not going to. Next, um, I would I uh, right click this or open. And then search for like grab the install.exe of any and, or setup.exe or whatever. Or you can do the auto run and open with Wine Windows Program Loader. Now I already did this and started up my install, and here it is. It'll basically bring you through all the steps that, and it'll be exactly the same as just installing it on Windows, XP, Vista, Seven, any of those and yeah and then once this is finished I'll continue the video and I don't I don't really want to wait for this to finish installing and I'm not really gonna play <laughs> civilizations 4 through um, VMware and all that anyway it would it's this would all work exactly the same way it'll show up in wine and be in your programs folder as civilizations and you can go ahead and click on it or you can put a desktop shortcut whatever you want and it'll pretty much load exactly the same way um, except for if you have the uh, configure wine set up so that your mouse can't leave the screen if you have it in windowed view anyway that's that and Hope you have a good day. Subscribe and see ya.